Sun Bonani, Sun Bonani, Sun Bonani. This is your girl, Ubuche, Blackberry, Black Coffee. No cream, no sugar. Ya bona ngithi fa. Ndah, sizobona u Wizzy Beats and we are in the streets of Josie CPT. Pagati inside share ba kupunla tele. And please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And uskale ba la ko subscribe and like us on all our social media platforms. Wizzy Beats is waiting for us, machi. Arvai. This is your girl, Bushe Mudibedi, aka Blackberry, Black Coffee, no cream, no sugar. And welcome to your favorite episode of Eza Seka Slami. Today we have a rapper, a songwriter, a vocalist, and a producer. No, wait, man. We have the award winning music producer of Kalawa Jazz, man. Welcome, Wheezy B. Sasa na efe fran, sasa na efe fran. Okay, Joe, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, please tell us more about yourself, who's busy beats, what's your real name, where you're from, and what's happening. Oh, my real name is Bonte. Uh, those ones that Bonte. Bonte. My real name is Bonte. <laughs> I know it's a female name. Bonte! Name. No, we actually have the same name because I'm Bonte and you're Bonte. Oh, Bunche. okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I know the, the universe is aligning. <laughs> uh, well, my name is Wizzy Beats, sure. uh, aka Wizzy Beats, and then uh, from Jugulain. Uh, they know me as uh, Bonte. Sure. And then, yeah, I'm just, I, I wanted to be on the show, so this is, this is a very good show. Joe, nah, Joe, if you're a young hustler out there, and maybe you're young and you know, old hustler, and you want us to come visit you, Kastako, you know who to call is Aseka Slami. So tell us more about yourself, Joe. I know you're about mm -hmm. Where did you go to school? How did you get into this music industry thing? When's the ganja? Yeah, I, um, I got into the music industry. Well, let's start from the scratch because my Please. name is Bunke, like I said, but uh, I'm from Kitenis Gila, Dr. Semutonya, and then I had to move to Elizabeth Matimela. In Fanaka, I see Jule, you know, if you try Jule, you know, I eat, you know, Jule, you know, talent, so I'm just glad to be here, and then you guys are. Sure, and then what inspired your Wheezy Beats name? Yeah, Wheezy, Wheezy means. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I'm sure. In Latin, no, it just means uh, a thief. Oh. Yeah, in Latin, it oh. means it means thief. Oh, so yeah, so it's mara. So it's a music. It's in so it's a lot of. Oh, so so it's a lot of the lines about. So it's a lot of the lines. No, we just we just steal the melodies and yeah, that's it. We we don't steal. The and, you know, yeah. the and, stuff. and I tell him, I'm so fond of Angel. Within music, we don't steal, we borrow. So who is <laughs> if I can't get my ass somewhere, I got John Chang a fuck all Joe. So um, tell me about your award winnings in Kalawa Jazz. Man, when did you sign? Uh, it, it just it, it happened. You know, that's that's a good question because it happened when I was uh, I was in still Kukuka Asida, and then uh, uh, I don't know if you know Leon Lee. Sure. Leon Lee, uh, he was, he's a vocalist, you know that song, Mang Dagi, you know? Mang Dagi, Wange Gungi, so you know that, that was... Uh, cool, eh? Mang Dagi, Wange Gungi, so... Arakim Fana Koka, see Mang Dagi. So that, that's the boy that actually, you know, put me on. Shut up, in the shut music industry, yeah. so that's why I'm mentioning him. Yeah, because shut he's up. the one that put me on. And then uh, from that, it just it was just, me and him, we were like... Uh, he was the, uh, I'm a producer and he was a vocalist. Yeah. And then one time we were performing in Pitori and then Losquito was there. Wow. And then they saw us and then the next day we, we signed, we signed a contract. A so, no limit rapper, or what were we doing? Pila Pila, you can say all the, all the above because uh, I produce my own music. Sometimes I do my own vocals yeah. and sometimes I do, you know, backups for artists if they need to do that. And yeah. now I'm trying to get into PR. That's, mm, what, that's what I'm You want to do PR. Yeah, it yeah. has more money, ne? Yeah, yeah. Unlike being... <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, uh, did you go to school for this music thingy or did we into it that No, I, I never actually went to school for, for, for music. Yeah, and it's all PC from uh, Cape Town. He was like working in Cape Town. Sure. Also, time around PC, I want to do music. He was like, but you... 
if, if you want to do music, you have to do it inside the studio. Why you want to have a PC and, you know, he so didn't understand the dynamics. Si. It's all <laughs> si. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So from that, you know, he got me a PC and then I started doing beats. Got Fruity Loop 10. If, you know, there's people out there know, that know Fruity Loop 10. Hey, la, no ka others ka. that use it. Fruity Loop 10. Yeah, and then you were doing music. Kanjala. Yeah, then I, and then Mosquito called us one morning. I was like, okay, guys, come make it official. And then. From that, yeah, you know, we got signed to, um, we worked with Ambitious, nice. yeah, from that side, and, yeah, everything was proper from that side. So, I want to know about your greatest moments in this music industry. No, before the greatest, I want to know your lowest, where you felt like, I, hey. F, I don't want to do this anymore, right? <laughs> Yo, so I got to get performer one time, and then I fell on stage. Ha! Huh? Yeah. I perform, you know, I'm performing, and then, you know, I, I don't know, maybe like, next time I'm going to start to with you. Ah, that's it. That's Then I was performing, and then people were looking at me, and then I'm performing my song, and then I got almost staging, and then people were like, boo. Ah. Yeah, that, was, that was the worst moment. Ah. That was the worst moment because, you know, like a, you, it was, any human being was going to give up from that. Like you were gonna give up. Now you're getting the boom. Yo, you were, were you in the middle of the song or you were about to end? Oh, but can't get at your stage. Yangena, you know, she anada, hata banana. Yo, where are you doing? Yo, guy lift. Hey, I'm gonna lift it. I think I got a brick fall. Then I woke up, then I continued performing the song. Ah, but that, that's, that's dope. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just glad that, you know, and one thing about you, like, having to fall down and standing up, like, literally, guys, no matter whatever that you face mm -hmm. in your life, just... Iwa, usugu menjo mo tiki chen. Tiki chen. Yo mo tiki chen, man. And then your greatest moment is? Uh, the greatest moment is when I was meeting, uh, because I always wanted to work with Aries. Mm. Then we, we did a song. Because mm. I knew him before, before, before Ambitious, before, yeah. before all, of, all of this. So I wanted to work with him. So when he got signed, and then, uh, you know, the song came out. That was my biggest moment with MT there on the song. That was, mm, that was yeah, my biggest yeah. moment. Yeah, I don't want to lie. So you produced the song for them, or it was a collab? It was a collab. I actually did the hook. Mm. Uh, people don't know about this. I did the hook. Give uh, me no. But then, but you know, uh, uh, so that turns into uh, petrol. I give it petrol a bit. Petrol inside, petrol inside. Yeah. So we get to the studio there. My vocals are all off because I'm high from petrol no. in the car. So, you know, they decided to put out my hook. Then they gave AMT the hook. But, you know, it was my fault. It was my fault. Pilo. Yeah, Pilo. Pilo, Nefri. Hey, Pilo, I'm Yo, yo. Roman Bisha. Imagine. Imagine. Yeah, so a lot of people don't know about, you know, what happened with that. Yeah, that was that was my So actually moment. that was your part. I when I MC when <laughs> when I MC when we king or when MC yeah. We don't you hook your money to one. Yeah, no, but it killed it. It killed it. I love there, it. But there was no beef after that. Ah, there was no beef. You know, they paid me my money. You know, when when there's money, you know, there's no beef. Um, how can there's how can there be beef when there's money involved? Yeah. You know? hey. So like uh, one thing also I want to know is like about your personal like upcoming mm. as a person. You know. Mm. Um, how did you manage to pull through in everything, you know, because as a hustler, you don't know where to get your money sometimes. Yeah, yeah. How did you, did you maybe start going to work with Seven Zalami Yama call center by the corner? You know, I never actually, I never actually had a day job ever in my life. I never actually mm. had a day job. I've never worked for like a company. I've never been an employee for any type of company. I knew from school that this is what I want to do and then I'm going to do this, but I needed a plan, obviously. Mm -hmm. So I'm a producer. So what I'm going to do is sell beats. To people oh. and then that's where I get my equipment buy my equipment now people more people are coming in and yeah from that everything was up here from that just like that just like piece, that just like that, <laughs> that, was just like like that. Guys, never. Yes, never. we want to know the role where did it come from yes <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. before you tune a writing we got me link shall you need things i'm a peanut or had to fight with my father or something like that when i just had to sell your beats just i just like had that. to sell my beats. i guess uh, you know, people thought i was downloading the beats because they were that good you know oh. people thought i was downloading the beats you know, there was a big, there was these sessions that happen every Thursday, Bukasina. Yeah. So every time when I come there and perform, people, people are responding well to my music. Oh, that's good. And then, you know, now people are trying to, you know, get my beats. And then now I'm selling my beats. And then now, you know, so I'm changing yarn a little bit just to get the equipment. And then now from there, everybody came in. And then that was, yeah, 
my biggest moment is that one for you know with Aries and then you yeah, know getting signed with Kalawa as well. Yeah. Yeah. So when did you sign with Kalawa? 2015. That was 2015. Yeah, 2015 we signed with Kalawa. It was a five-year contract. Yeah. And now it's 2023. Three. So uh, that contract is overdue now. But now uh, we into we into uh, 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 sharing. Uh, you know. Having shares in the company, like oh, helping so young, young, shares. yeah. So now I'm, I'm one of the the guys in Kalawa that say, okay, now we can have this one, we can do this one, we can do this one. Since well, you know about him jokes. When yeah, he died, yeah, yeah. remember him jokes. When he died, that's when you know I was with his kid, oh, uh, Jasmine. Yeah. His name is Jasmine. Jasmine. Kalawa Jasmine is actually named yeah. after him. Yeah, I'm jokes' son. So we trying to do our own company because before Jokes died, mm -hmm. we're actually trying to do a company where we get, you know, artists in. Yeah. So you can say I'm more than an artist now. I'm not, I'm yeah, in the music I, business I, now. No, you're a producer. <laughs> oh, you're in music business now. Now I'm in the music business. Yeah. yeah so do you think of like feathering and going to school or now? Nah, grand? Ah, I'm in a grand, in grand. They can't teach me anything in school that I... Hey, now it's all a No, no, I actually want to, you know, I, I want to know the terms, you know? Yeah. The terms of, you know, a compressor, you know, what it, but I actually know what it, you know, what, what, what a compressor is. Fruit mm. loop is, YouTube you know. is the best teacher. I know you say you, you learnt it from YouTube. If you do something 10,000 times, obviously you're going to get it right. Yeah, you're going to get it right. If you do like one thing 10,000 times every day, you're going to get it right. It's like going to school, but now in format. Yeah. It's, it's like going, you're teaching yourself. Yeah. The purpose of you going to school is to learn. And they give you no, that. get documentation. I'm a parent. Yeah, you know, documentation. Shout out to uh, Dr. <laughs> Lani there, you know. <laughs> But anyway, you're a creative, so yeah, that's you learn yeah. anything, mm. anytime. But my father had a problem with me just not just dropping school and saying, I mm. want to do music. He had a problem with that, but you know, yeah, he's here now, you know, he's there now, he's chilling. Enjoying your In, benefits. You know, he's chilling, he doesn't have a problem with me anymore. So, in metric or figure? Yeah, metric, I'm done with it. Oh, okay. I just hey, didn't go hey, to Vasi. Hey. No, oh, no, okay. no, 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 obviously, I yeah, know. You have to finish school. No, all the kids out there, <laughs> stay in school. Yes, I'm a hustler, my nanny. Anyway, just tell me, what are you doing now? These mm. are Paradise 2. Tell me more about it. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, Paradise 2 is coming. Uh, but we have a, we had a little bit of a, a problem. I, I didn't want to get into that, but we had a little bit of a problem. So it was 20 songs, uh, produced two songs in the album, but now uh, those songs are not going to be in the album anymore because I don't know if you guys watch, uh, he already said some things on my page. He commented on my page and said some other things. That's oh, like, so we're not beefing. No, we're not beefing. It's just, you know, we, we're not in, the, in a good space right now. Why? Because you know that happened, he commented on my on my, on my stuff and he said some, um, some things. You know, it's just because of he commented on that. It was a bad comment. Can you please tell us, guys? Don't you want to know the bad comments? <laughs> I don't have time now to go into my phone and check the comments. No, I actually said uh, on Facebook, I posted and said uh, a studio session with me mm -hmm. might change your life. Mm -hmm. Ask Aries. And then now uh, he commented and said that never happened. I'm like, what, what did that never happen? <laughs> so now everybody, you know, you know, people are doing YouTube videos about that, you know, at, at least now I get to, you know, speak my side of the Please, story. You thank know? you. So there's no beef, there's nothing. There's it's no just beef, like you, it's just, yeah, you know. He said something. I said, I said something and then he said something and then, you know, 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 Ah, but that's no water. Aries, man, come on, just drop all those songs. I was going to be part of the album, but you're not going to get to hear that. But I'm going to release the songs, me, myself. Yeah, what? We move, we go forward. go forward, yeah. Yeah, so where do people get you if they like they want to book you for your... For being for producing their yeah, songs, producing, yeah, you just you just you can just go to Facebook and then or you can just type uh, Wizzy Beats on Google and mm -hmm. then it's just gonna give you all my contact details. So and then you're gonna be there. Shout out to Oha Studios mm -hmm. where we are at right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this is where I work basically. This oh, is where, yeah. Anyway, guys, we are in the O Studios. Am I correct? Oha, Oha Studios. Where's Oha, that? Oha Studios. <laughs> yeah, Oha Studios. Oha Studios. This is, yeah, this is where I work as an engineer. My name is Funa, guys. Who is it? His name is Tola Just tell us that address, man. Kwa na banyabanta bangasang the social media. You don't know the address. 
the address of this place. Uh, I'll send you a location, bro. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna send you a location, I'll Joe. Send you just, a location, man. just pull up, man. Just pull up, you just know. Pull up, yeah. Just get me on Facebook and then talk to me on Facebook and let me know what you want to do because there's a lot of uh, uh, there's a lot of talent in the hood. Yeah. Uh, but they don't know what to do mm -hmm. with that talent. They don't know how to get money, generate money, you know. And you know, I'm helping you know young kids from the Kasi, for river groom to know because paperwork is very important in the music industry. People just go there and just do music yeah. and then release music on the internet, but they don't know there's actually a way you can make money out of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so Guys, I'm going to go busy beats. Nah, nice, nice, nice. All my artists I get 80% of whatever they're doing. Huh? 80%. So you take the 20? I take 20%. Really? Of what you did, yeah. Guys, if you want <laughs> to work with not... busy beats, just know that you're 20%. Is... You, know, you, know, you know that Ambitious takes the actual 82%. You only get like, how much is left? Eight. Eight percent. You get eight huh. percent. No artist in Zanzi right now is getting more than 20 percent of the royalties. And then Kalawa, you know? That's why now I decided, to, let me be part of the, you know, the, the business. No, Kalawa, you need to how many percent. Oh, you can, I, 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 I can't discuss, I can't, I can't talk about that. You can't talk about that. <laughs> 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 but no, but no you can't be talking about ambitious, but you can't talk about no, the record no, no, that you're no, saying. No, 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 you know, you know, you know, it's, I don't want to, I'm, I'm in good terms with, you know, I don't want to, you know. If, but Kalawa is a good company, I don't want to lie, they, they put you in, Mafikizolo, you know, you can see a lot of, Guys, they went in and now they blew up. You just have to be consistent as an artist yourself. Yeah. You need to be consistent. You need to do music. You need to be in the studio. party. Get in the studio, work your ass off. That's it. That's all. Okay. Mm. So, and then also there's one thing I also want to ask you. Mm. It might be a bit personal. Mm. Have you ever sniffed? Drugs? Not, never. Never. No. Have you never My father's a pastor. He would kill me. My I know you have some PK. <laughs> you know PKs. Uh, nah, nah. PKs they don't listen. Yeah, no, no, no. no I've, I've never done any of that, and I, I, I advise artists to go against that. Never yeah. do that. You've never, never found yourself, yourself in a situation where yeah. like, you're chilling, so I'm guessing I'm artistic well, and then just sniff, nah, and then someone's nah, nah, like, nah, nah. I've never actually met people like that in my circle of people hey, that I work with. Hey, hey, Life, life. I don't want to lie. I've never met people. That actually do that, they sniffing and then mm. they. No, 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 no. Maybe they just I'm, do it private if they do. If they do, they do it privately, I wouldn't know. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't know. So there's someone out there, maybe a child or young boy, young mm. girl who like looks up to you. Mm. What message can you give them so that they can be on the same level as you? Not exactly like mm. you, but just to follow your footsteps. Uh, even bigger than me. But what you have to do, what you have to do is make sure that you are, like I just said now, you just have to be in the studio, focus on the music, focus on the skill, then you're good, you're out there. Focus on the skill, because mm -hmm. like I just said offline, if you work on something 10,000 times, yeah. obviously you're going to be good at yeah, that. Yeah, you're going to be good. Exactly. If you do something 10,000 10, times, uh, you're going to be good at that. You, you measure just have to a thousand practice. times and cut my eyes. <laughs> yeah. So what is Busy Pits doing now? Who are you signing? Who are you working with? Uh, actually, um, actually, we're doing our own uh, company. It's Busy Art Sports with uh, OHA Studios. Yes. Uh, and we just have a guy right now. Uh, that just flew in from France. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he just Shout flew in from out. France. Shout out to him. Shout out to Kesso. It's Kesso. Kesso, you know. Shout out to that Kesso. That O has invented, I don't know what it means. That O is <laughs> French. That oh, O yeah. has those things in the, at the top there, those two dots. Go get jazz. Oh, yeah, Kifa, I'm a jazz. Yeah, so that's, that's the guy we're working on now. Yeah. And we actually shoot music videos as well. We're trying to do PR for, you know, people. Yeah. Uh, we have a song out with my Paputi. Yeah. Yeah. We also name have a the song. Name of the song, Pusha Skorokor. Pusha Skorokor. Pusha Skorokor. But I'm driving a Ferrari in the video. Ah. <laughs> it's a Skorokor so Ferrari it's video. Yeah, it's Skorokor Ferrari. <laughs> It's ah. bar, no, no, it's just, you know, the irony on that. You oh, know, yeah. Uh, mm. If only you're smart, you get that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, so that, that's what we're basically doing. And then now we're going to sign new artists in the company. Yeah. We're going to sign new artists and then we're going to bring them in and then we're going to, you know, make them see the, the you know, the business side of, of, of you know, as an artist, you, you have to focus on the business side. I think I said that, but yeah. you have to focus on it. You have to sign with Samro. You have to register with yeah, Samro. Yeah, very you know? important. And, and guys. you know, on, on the internet, guys, on the internet, don't do things. You know, don't, don't smoke weed on the internet. Don't drink <laughs> on the internet. Hey, because all these sponsors, 
imagine now, imagine now you have a sponsor and yeah. then Vaseline is sponsored you yeah. and then you are busy smoking. You know, Vaseline is for kids. Yeah. You know, they're not going to sponsor you yeah. if you want to be busy. Because you're not busy. Busy. You know, I don't want to say who <laughs> does that in the music industry. Ah, yes, yes, you know, yes, but yeah. I don't want to say no names. But people do that. So, so clean your brand. Yeah. Make sure your brand is clean as possible, yeah. as clean as possible, so you can, you know, do more. Yeah. You can do more as, a, as an artist and take care of your paperwork. Make sure that you know what is a publishing deed, mm -hmm. what is a distribution deed, mm. you know. So these people, like maybe you sign, let's say, let's say maybe you sign an artist, they don't know about these things. They, you know, I get that you're hungry, you come from, you know, I don't want to make references. You come from, you, you come from uh, a village, yeah. you know, da, and then you come to Josie, you know, the, the first thing that you do is sign a contract with, with a label that gives you 8%. You know, it, that's bad. Yeah, that's, that's really bad. bad that's bad. And then please tell me more about your um, mm. your mm. your friendship or your communication or your whatever mm. with MT and Cruise Africa. Hey, 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 <laughs> and about Cruise. Cruise, I don't have a problem with you, my ninja. Yo. But you need to relax. Yo. You need to relax. You need to relax. You, you, I think I can talk about that one. Yeah. Me, and, me and Cruise. Yeah. Me and Cruise, the, the problem was that he tried to sign me. Oh, really? At that time, I was under Kalawa, so I couldn't sign oh, two contracts yeah, it's a at the same time. Contact, you know? yeah. So now I'm telling him that I, I can't sign, and then he gets angry at me and say, "But we see you. We talked about this, but I, I never promised him anything. I just said we're gonna work." So he wanted to put me in a company, and then by that time, obviously, Weezy Beats people are talking about Weezy Beats, Weezy Beats there, Weezy Beats mm. this. So, so he wanted to now, to, you know, the history of Cruz. He, <laughs> yeah. Everyone in the industry, you know that song where yeah. this is. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I you know who's there. So, so you I'm, don't have beef with I don't have beef. He's beefing. If he has beef with me, uh, he's beefing alone. Eat that beef alone there. Chill. Yes. <laughs> no, so there's no there's then, no any beef with you and On this end there's no beef. So MT nada. M nah, MT is my boy. MT is my boy. We actually we we we're gonna do some more music together. Yeah. Yeah, we MT is my boy. Is there something you're working on right now with MT? Yeah, we have uh, there's a song called Patience. Yeah. That I'm working with uh, one of its artists called uh, Flash Kumkani. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be dropping very soon with the visuals. Everybody's gonna you know see that. Yeah. That's that's what I'm working on now. You know, with the but I'm actually focused now with the upcomings. I'm I'm not focused on you know the big guys anymore. Yeah. You know, the big guys, the you big know, fishes. the heads ten, they did everything. But now I'm focused on the. On, on new talent, the young and the, the youngins, yeah, yeah, those ones. Because there's people that are talented on the internet. They just they don't know how to like go about, go about that and say, yeah. okay, sharp. Now I wanna get you know you don't you don't have to get signed yeah. to be in a, to, to to blow up. You don't need to get signed. Now we have TikTok. Our radio. <laughs> radio. Now we have TikTok. You can just do uh, 16 days. If you're talented, you're gonna blow up. Yeah. If you're not, you're gonna get that six views. So TikTok tell me, how do, how do you promote your music actually? Do you pay to promote your music or do mm. you promote it like you stand up and I promote, promote. it? I promote. I have 149,000 people on, on Facebook. Yeah. So that's good. Mm -hmm. You know, that's good. That's, that's why I get to promote my, pay, my, my, my music, do, you know, reels and whatever. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's where I promote my you music. You promote it on yeah. social media. Yeah. But I know what you mean about paying, mm. you know, the mm. yeah. Obviously, I'm an influencer. <laughs> we know you guys are paying influencers to get your music out yeah, there. Yeah, hey, so yeah. you're not working with any influencers? I know, not at the moment. No, no. no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm always honest with myself. So friend. when are you dropping your music videos? Um, we have a one guy now that just did a music video from Wizzy Hard Spot. Uh, he came from Limpopo, Supreme Williams. We're gonna be dropping his uh, song, his uh, his first song, under Wizzy Aspot. That's the first thing that's gonna be because Wizzy Aspot is a new company. It's so, yours. Yeah, it's my company. Registered under you. Registered under me. Wizzy Hotspot. Wizzy Hotspot. Oh, Wizzy Hotspot. Yeah, Hotspot in collaboration with Oha Stu Studios. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, but that's uh, Supreme Wizard is coming out, and then you know, yeah, he's he's good. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have an ear. He's very good. Shout out, shout out, guys. We're waiting for so much more from Uzi Beats, and he'll tell us more after the break. Shrele. We are now sitting with Mr. L General, Uzi Beats confident and a business partner. So, can you kindly tell us more about Uzi Beats, your relationship with Uzi Beats? <laughs> 
All right, uh, we will be that motherfucker, man. <laughs> I know the guy is crazy, a cool, crazy dude, and uh, a talented one at that. Yeah. Uh, very, very decisive. Like he's emphatic. Whenever he, he goes for what he wants, yeah. and uh, I've, I would say we've been working well, and he's been good to me as yeah. well as some good. And though we also, you know, like human beings, we always have our good and bad sides. Yeah. Yeah, but we shouldn't allow the the little bad side to to determine the course of the process. Yeah. You see, we all have we made mistakes, and we move on from the mistakes we made. Yeah, we work together, and he's a good guy. Like I said before, we met, and things have been going on well. I won't lie. Yeah. Yeah. So do you remember when did you guys meet? Yeah, it's been a long time though. Like. About five, six, seven years ago, yeah. I would say that, yeah, when he was still uh, finding his uh, f uh, foot in the industry, when he was still with uh, Kalawa and doing, working with those guys, Abo MT and Aries, see them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we used to meet and, you know, just do something and separate again until after like one or two years, then we say, ah, guys, um, we just talk to each other like, when we meet, we always do something nice, and we connect, and we have this good rapport with each other. Why don't we just work together? And we clicked from there. We started doing things, and that's it. We, 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 we've been going on from there. Oh, thank, thank you so much for sharing the experience you had with Beats. We can now go and watch like the other side of the studios. <laughs> Now we are about to get in the studio. So yeah. Five. I like to call it five. But there's a there was a three. And there was a two. Now there's five. Now there's five. And then your monitors, they look different. You can tell us more about your monitors. Yeah, I don't know anything about these monitors. I know. They monitor sound. That's all I know. Nah, can you please play that app so that they can hear what these monitors are doing?